Okay, once again, we're going to take another shot at this using a slightly different tool to do our extraction. Some of you really, really, really just love the little polygon tool. So I'm going to show you how you can still use that and still get a very nice edge on this. Okay, come on, let's select the little polygon tool. All right. So we're going to do this, and we're going to, I'm going to show you how we can also still use Refine Edge on this. So I'm just going to do a very quick little extraction layer here. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. And there we go. Okay. Very cool. Not the greatest extraction, not the greatest selection, but as you see up here in the edge, we have this little refined edge. What is that going to allow us to do, I wonder? Hmm. Well, we can try edge detection with smart radius there and let it automate it. That's not really doing all that much for us, unfortunately. So let's just try telling the computer and Photoshop what we'd like it to do. And increase my brush size a little bit. You can do that using the left and right brackets. So we're going to paint around the edge here. And it is going to start figuring out where I actually want this to be. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's paint around where the edge of the head and the hair are. Now this is a very difficult selection for a lot of reasons. Because there's a very uneven background there. We've got the white board and we've got black there and it's contaminating. See, right there, it's contaminating what I'm trying to do. However, we can still fix this. And I will show you how in a second here. Now, let's bump up the contrast a little bit here. There we go. You can see how that works in this instance. Hmm, still don't like that there. So we can get rid of that. Bring in some of those hairs. All right, you're just being stubborn on me now, actually. Bar at the bottom. Excuse me, like that. Go back here, go back here. All right. So let's do that. Do it okay. Output to new layer with layer mask. Fair enough. All right. Now that we've got that, we can actually edit the layer mask. We make that active. Make sure that your color over here is set to black. Now you start painting using the brush tool. This is why I love having the wacom tablet. Watch what happens when you start painting here. Okay, we can get rid of some things that we really didn't want. Also, we can swap the colors around, start taking a look at painting in. So that detail there that we were missing just a bit there. Okay. So I'm not gonna bore you with this. This is basically how you could use even so crude a tool as the polygon tool to get a nice cleaner edge on your extraction. Okay, everybody happy? Fair enough. Once again, let's go. Drop this little rascal down, draw in corners, draw in corners, subject centered, with a little bit of space, head space, side space. Looks okay. We are going to once again save for web. I used to say save for web, and save for web and devices, and don't do that anymore. Let's take a look at it, make sure that we're getting what we think we're getting. Save. And here we go. Everybody happy with that?